Hello engineers, in this video we will examine how we can use multi-threads on PowerShell in order to make our script execution time quicker. If you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe on my channel. PowerShell concurrently runs commands and scripts through jobs, which is the equivalent to threads. There are multiple ways to achieve parallel execution PowerShell and we will examine two of them. The first method would be to use for each object along with a parallel parameter, which you can see as a comment right here. This method will work only in the newest version of PowerShell, which is version 7, and it is not compatible with PowerShell 5. The second method would be the start job, which you can see in the second comment section, and can be used with the older version of PowerShell. For our example, we will use the test connection which pings a given host. In the provided script, I also use the stopwatch class in order to get the total elapsed time for the execution of the script. At the beginning of the script, I set an object which is called computers and inside this object, I have included three hosts. Those hosts will be used in a loop which I do with for each and the testnet connection will be performed for each of those hosts. Before this operation, I use the stopwatch class in order to count the time for this operation. The last step would be to echo the elapsed time that this operation needed in order to run. We will now switch to our parcel command line and we will run this script in a serial way. When we execute our script, we will get in the output the pin commands that are performed for each of the hosts that we have provided in the computer object. As you can see, the total elapsed time for this serial execution of my script would be around 10 seconds. We will now go and execute this script in a parallel way to verify how much time the new version will need in order to run our script. The first method that I will try would be the for each object which can be used with parcel 7. This method also loops in the computer's object that we have defined and uses the parallel parameter for this loop that we perform and also we specify that this parallel execution should be executed as jobs. Then we use in a pipe the receive job and wait parameters and then we print the total elapsed time for this particular run. We will try now to run this particular script and validate how much did this run needed. By executing the script, we can see that the pin commands are executed in parallel in this particular run and the total elapsed time would be around 3.5 seconds. As you can see, the pin commands have been executed in parallel in multiple threads that have been created from PowerShell and right now we have a quicker execution time for this particular job. We will now switch to the PowerShell 5 version which uses the start job command. As you can see, I have defined three different jobs and every job will ping one unique host. Like before, we will first create a stopwatch in order to count the time this execution needed. Then we will use the get job and wait job in order to wait for our job to finish. And then we will use the receive job in order to get the output for these particular jobs. At the end, we will print the total elapsed time for this script execution. By switching back to our terminal, we can go and execute this new version of our script. As you can see, the time that this execution needed is around the same that we had with parcel 7. Again, our script used three particular pings on each of those hosts that we have provided as an input and finally we got the same results as we did in parcel 7. All the pings for both executions succeeded and the end result would be that we reduced our execution time from 10 seconds to about 4 seconds. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments below if you have ever used multi-threads on parser scripts.